We can see the autopilot is engaged here. This left side of the display is always the lateral axis of the autopilot. So this is showing that we're in track mode. This is our current track of the aircraft, and this is our selected track of the aircraft. While we're in selected track mode, again, rotating this knob will change the direction of the aircraft. You just rotate the knob and the airplane will make that turn. If you have a flight plan you're following in the GPS, this is where it would show GPSS on this side, always on the left side. The right side is dedicated purely to the altitude side of the, of the autopilot, so the pitch axis. So we have several options here, so we can fly an open vertical speed. We'll click the knob and the cursor, you can see, moves over here to the SVS0. We just dial in the vertical speed we want here for a climb or a descent. Now the nice thing about that is that it's an open vertical speed, it's going to keep doing that for as long as, as long as the aircraft is capable. If you get to the minimum airspeed that we've got preset into this system, say we've commanded this climb here of 700 feet per minute and the aircraft is not capable of that, then it'll hit what we call minimum airspeed and this display will actually flash and show min AS and the autopilot will hold that airspeed rather than stall the aircraft. We have that exact same feature in a descent. If you command a large descent, 700, 800, 900, maybe even 2,000 feet per minute descent, and you have high power setting in the aircraft, then again, you may hit the maximum airspeed. So this is another safety feature we have in here. We don't allow you to either stall or redline the aircraft.